Hi everybody, I'm Mike, and this is Prison Architect Alpha 24. Now, you might be looking at this prison and going, uh, something's different. And if you are, well then you're very astute, because something is different. If you're not, well, I don't know, go have some coffee, and if you're too young for coffee, then, I don't know, go have some pixie sticks or something? Um... <laughs> But, um, this is a completely different prison. <laughs> um, what happened was that last weekend, I f after recording all my videos, I formatted my computer. Uh, thinking that I had backed up my saves, and even if I hadn't backed up my saves, that the saves would be in the cloud. Um, well, the cloud is BS. <laughs> um... And apparently I didn't have my save backed up, so I completely lost my prison. Um, and so I went to go start recording. Well, actually I went to go check first to make sure that um, that hadn't happened. And it's a good thing that I checked ahead of time because it had happened. I would have been a very, very sad panda if I would have gone to go start recording and then had to start all of this from the beginning, because this took a whole lot of work. Um, so I made this prison. Well, <laughs> no. Let's start from the beginning. I made another prison. Um, one of those kind of like uh, really small kind of feeder prisons where all you do is make money. Um, and I accumulated a bunch of money so that I could make one of these. Um, so I made that prison, accumulated a bunch of money after I let it run, and then I sold that prison. And then I had uh, money left from the, the proceeds of that sale to build this prison. Now, I was pretty sure that you guys didn't want to see me start this prison all over from the beginning again, so I decided to spare you all the um, pain of watching that from the beginning. Um, I will take you on a bit of a guided tour, though. So, that would be best left to the morning, but I'll take you on a tour of uh, what we can see. Um, okay, so here's the entrance, obviously, um, and that's really the only way into or out of our prison. Uh, we have a an outer gate, and then a walkway, and then a layer of sand, and then we have one of those crazy exterior wall things that they have with uh, barbed wire on top. And then there's another walkway, and then, there is our prison. Now, there should be no reason that our inmates should be going outside because, much like our other prison, the yard is kind of a central courtyard inside of our prison. So, um, it should be very, very hard for people to be throwing contraband over the walls to our... Well, I mean, they can throw contraband over the walls all they want, but they're going to have to get over these two gates, and then the inmates are going to have to find a way to get out here, find a reason to be out here, to go get the contraband, uh, which will be difficult. Anyway, so over here are the offices uh, for all of the staff, um, warden, um, foreman, chief, accountant, uh, our psychiatrists and stuff like that in a little bit. Uh, the one of the security offices, the one that's closest to the door, obviously. Um, a bunch of solitary cells. Now, I have a bunch of these rooms where I've packed all of my utilities. As you can see, there are a lot of generators and there are a lot of water pump stations. There are only a few kind of extraneous extra ones. Um, because this... Prison requires a lot of power and utilities. Just to give you a basic idea, that's what we're dealing with. 
I didn't want you guys to have to watch all of this. Building this prison took me the better part of a day and a half. Um, anyway, so that's that. Got storage up here. We got one of these utility rooms up here. Three classrooms, infirmary, a morgue, cleaning cupboard, a staff room, another security office here. Because it's so big. A huge block of cells and a huge block of showers. Again, another huge block of cells and showers over here. The kennel, the armory, the workshop. The holding cell for when you first come in. Oh, you know what? Oh, that, that doesn't actually make a huge, huge difference. There are other ways that you can get through to there. But generally, you're not going to have too many people. So, anyway. One would think. This is a bit of a design flaw, I just noticed. But it's not the end of the world. You could go through here if you really wanted to. And back down through here if you wanted to avoid the holding cell altogether. Um, we have the canteen, the kitchen. Um, the laundry room with its own kind of utility area. The visitation area, which... <clears throat> that design that uh, I was talking about implementing a little while back, where you have only inmates on one side and only visitors on the other side, well, I figured it out. That's how it is. Uh, another security office here, storage, the armory, the kennel, I think I've mentioned that already. A bunch of cells and showers and stuff like that. Oh, we've got a couple of more cleaning cupboards here. <clears throat> the yard, the common room, a bunch more cells, showers. Um, this time, we have, a, we have another security office over here, obviously. Um, but this time, I've decided to set up execution chambers, which... Something I don't ordinarily do, but uh, maybe we'll play around a little bit with that. Um, and as you can see, all the utilities for everything are all set up. Uh, again, I spared you guys the boredom of watching all this. It wasn't that much fun to do either. <laughs> so, um,. That's all done, so I figured that I would start recording now that some of the fun stuff is ready to be done. So we're going to start furnishing, we're going to start making this place pretty, and, you know, <clears throat> setting up all, pardon me, setting up all of the, um, schedules and hiring, you know, staff and stuff like that, so. That being said, uh, after eight minutes of rambling, let's actually start doing stuff. So, um... First things first here, let's go and grab the office desk, and we're going to outfit our classrooms here. We're going to grab a school desk, whoops, pop that there, two, three, four, six, seven, four, five, six, Seven, two, four, five, six. I don't know. I think I somehow screwed up the counting on that. Blame the public school system. Okay. So we have that set up. And now we'll let our dudes go and start getting that all worked out. Um. I'm not going to clone this because, quite frankly, it's only three rooms and there's really not enough to warrant the whole cloning tool thing, but I, I use the cloning tool extensively while setting up the cells because uh, without it, setting up 394 cells would have been way more tedious than it had to be. Um, there we go. Set that up. Set up another office desk, or right like that, and then another school desk, like so. Pop that in. Yep. 
As you can see, we're not really hurting for money. We have a lot more money to play with than we did initially, and um, if that seems to be a little bit cheatsy doodles to you, well, I understand your views on that, and I can appreciate that. Um, unfortunately, that's not going to get me to change anything. So, sorry. There we go. Now we'll put a bunch of morgue slabs here. There we go. They have access to the morgue from this back hallway and from the infirmary. Medical beds. Put a bunch of those in here. Since we have capacity for nearly 400 prisoners, probably going to want to have a much bigger infirmary than we ordinarily do, so let's get that all set up. Cleaning cupboard is nice and huge. <clears throat> let's stick out this staff room. So, a wide sofa. We'll set up a bunch of wide sofas along the back here. Throw in some drink machines. There we go. It's bad we can't throw in a couple of potted plants. Alright, and then we'll take a table or two. Set up a couple of benches so that if they want to, they can go and have some lunch. We'll look around here for a pool table on the off chance that our staff would like to play some pool. And let's see here. We'll set up like a little little area here where people can get together and chit chat. And maybe we'll have we'll have another one of these right over here. And like so. There we go. So that staff room is now more or less set up. <clears throat> Wide sofas and drink machines, there we go. The security office we're going to set up in a little bit. Our classrooms are more or less done. Workshops being set up. <clears throat> Sorry guys, I don't know what it is. I, I'm all coffee. Um, coffee, I can totally use that. All right, so now we'll populate our kennel with puppies. Now, are we necessarily going to have this many dogs right off the hop? No. Not necessarily. But... Did I just... I'm a bit of a derp. Set that up. And grab a bench. Go so you get like your little lunch area there, and then maybe grab a drink machine for you right there and a bin. You know, to curb the dogs. And then, wow, those crates are huge. That are these couches are tiny. Might be asking, can't it be both, Mike? Well, yes, yes, it can. All right. 
it's the swankiest kennel you'll probably ever see in a prison. Well, maybe not, but it's the swankiest kennel you'll ever see in one of my prisons. Um, guard lockers, two, three, four, five, six. Two, three, four, five, six. Two, three, four, five, six. Now weapon racks. And there we go. Now we need a table. Set up something kind of similar for them. Except it probably won't smell as much of dog. Or it might smell more of dog, who knows. I, I can't attest for the personal habits of the people in the armory. Anyway, um, that being said, um, I'm going to end this video here because it has gone over 15 minutes. If you like this episode or you just want to support the series, feel free to go ahead and click on that good old like button. If you um, haven't subscribed and you feel like that's something that you may want to do, that button's down there as well. If you have any positive or negative feedback, feel free to leave it in the comment section down below. If you'd like to join me on Facebook, Twitter, or Steam, you can do that by clicking on one of the links in the description. But I have been Mike, and you have been you, and this has been Prison Architect Alpha 24. Thanks for... And also... Thanks very much for watching. We'll catch you in the next one. Bye.